Hey everyone, welcome to the hand calculation series. This video is going to be an example problem using the electron formalism. We can simply start by reading the problem statement, so please take a minute to pause your video and read through the problem statement. And I always like to, you know, start again by writing down some of the parameters that we are given in the problem, so that's what you see here. We have a dose of 200 centigrade that we are prescribed, our depth in tissue that we are prescribing to is three centimeters in the tissue. Our beam energy is 12 MeV. Uh, we have a one centimeter bolus that is placed on the skin. So that means that our total depth is four centimeters. So the bolus thickness plus the depth in tissue gives us the total depth. Uh, the cone we are using, the cone size is 25 by 25 and we are placing a five by 20 cutout inside of that cone and our SSD to the bolus is 103 centimeters, uh, but our SSD to the actual skin, so our actual source to surface skin would be uh, 104 centimeters. And that is all of the data we are given. So now we can move on to the equation that we need to calculate the MU setting. So here is the equation that we need. On the top, I have the generic monitor unit calculation equation with all of the factors that we need. All of the factors are there. Uh, and on the bottom, I insert the correct energy, depth, cone, and cutout size. And so uh, this is what our equation actually looks like. Uh, and we can go to the beam data to actually get all of these factors and calculate our MU settings. Now, just as we did with the photon calculations, we can draw out our geometry. So this is our reference condition here. We have our cone size of 15 by 15. Uh, SSD of 100 centimeters at a depth of D max. That's where we're delivering one centigrade per monitor unit. We can apply our inverse square correction here by adding in our bolus and uh, moving to the new SSD. And just keep in mind that the inverse square factor uses the virtual SSD. So when we actually go to do the inverse square, we have to use that formalism. Then we can apply our electron output factor, which you see here. We put in a 25 by 25 cone with a 5 by 20 cutout. And that's what our electron out output factor will account for. And then we can use our PDD to shift to our new depth of four centimeters. So the three centimeters in tissue plus the one centimeter bolus is the depth of four centimeters. And this is just how we can perturb our reference dose per monitor unit by applying all of these different factors. So first we're going to look at our PDD. So the PDD we want for 12 MeV is the darker green here. So we find our depth in total depth that is, not the depth in tissue. So four centimeters, we go up and see where it intersects the dark green line. And you can see that our PDD value is 90. Here is our electron output factors for uh, a variety of different cone and cutout sizes. And so you can see I have two rows highlighted here and then of course the column with 12 MeV. And we need to take the geometric mean of those two values since we have a rectangular cutout size and that calculation is shown here. So our electron output factor is just the geometric mean of the 25 by 25 uh, cone size with a five by five cutout and a 20 by 20 cutout. And that's, that calculation is shown here. So our electron output factor is 0 0.948. Now we can go ahead and do our inverse square correction. Remember that makes use of the virtual SSD, which is also tabulated in the beam data. And it's dependent on the cone size and the energy. So we find our cone size of 25 by 25, our energy of 12 E, and our virtual SSD is 93 with a depth of D max or a measurement depth of three centimeters. And uh, just to remind you, this is the equation for the inverse square correction. So we input the values here. Our air gap is just our source to bolus distance, which is 103 uh, minus the isocenter distance, which is 100. And so that gives us a, a inverse square factor of 0 0.9403. And we can put all of these factors together to actually calculate our MU setting, which is shown here. So we get an MU setting of 249. Uh, so this, this was just an example using the uh, electron formalism of dose calc and how you can calculate the dose from an electron beam. And this uh, example was pretty involved. It's about as complex as electron cases are going to get. Uh, you know, and made use of an inverse square correction and also the calculating the uh, electron output factor using the geometric mean. Uh, but yeah, this is just a, a nice example for an electron calculation here. So thanks for watching.